It's a favorite building around Chicago and wish you could take a peek inside. Well, this weekend may be your chance. Jeffrey Bear is here to tell us more in this latest edition of Ask Jeffrey. Jeffrey, good to see you. Always good to be here. Tonight's question, what should I check out at this weekend's Open House Chicago? And, and just full disclosure, the questioner is, is our producer, right. Quinn, who is sitting in the control room right now. But it's a good one. But it's an excellent Regardless question. Of Absolutely. The source. So Open House Chicago is literally an architectural open house. Um, uh, it, it lets you inside 300 buildings that you normally would only be allowed to see from the outside. Um, and some of them are treasures that you may never even heard of. Uh, so do you have any favorites? I do, of course, and we're gonna talk about them right now. Uh, let's start with the south side uh, with an old social hall called the Forum. It's right off the 43rd Street Green Line stop in Bronzeville, and we actually are going to be featuring this on our upcoming special Chicago by L, uh, which we're filming right now, and it'll be debuting in March of next year. So the forum was built back in 1897 when the neighborhood was mostly European immigrants. Later, of course, as you know well, Bronzeville became a vibrant center of African-American life. And the Forum was one of its cultural hubs. Nat King Cole, Muddy Waters, and many others performed there. Um, now the Forum has been vacant for decades, really, and it has gradually fallen into disrepair uh, as the neighborhood, sadly, has uh, suffered from disinvestment. Uh, that looks like a cool building. What's happening yeah. with it now? Well, um, the new owners have actually been slowly restoring the building, which is great. Um, and although it unfortunately it's going to take a, a lot more money to you know open it up to public events you can go inside for open house uh, when we stopped by last week we found a group of uh, artists who are working on a mural of nat king cole that they hope is going to be displayed in front of the building um, in time for open house chicago this weekend so now we're going to head uh, a little north and a little west to the bridgeport neighborhood which historically people associate with working class irish you know birthplace of five chicago mayors but in recent years the neighborhood has become Become much more diverse, um, including a Chinese population, Chinatown not far away, um, and that rep is represented here in the Ling Shen Qingzi Buddhist Temple uh, at 31st Street. Uh, this will be part of Open House Chicago this weekend. The building was originally owned by the Catholic Church next door, who used it as a community center, but opened it up as a Buddhist temple in uh, 1994. The interior of this building is dazzling, and we're going to take a look inside in just a minute. Um, the building was actually designed by the famous architecture firm Burnham & Root, Daniel Burnham. Yeah, I saw those arches in the front, and that yes. looked very distinctive and characteristic. Yes, could remind us of that early Chicago school. Um, Burnham, of course, was the famous city planner. Daniel Burnham, make no little plans. They have no magic to stir men's blood. Um, today... I don't make little plans, by the way. Of course not. Never. And here's the inside. <laughs> oh, um, the temple's main room is home to this massive, multi-leveled shrine where weekly services are held. And there are also several smaller chambers used for various services and prayers, like this one that actually holds ashes of the deceased. Okay, Open House Chicago continuing, moving up to the north side. Um, here's a building that anybody who drives on the Kennedy certainly recognizes. It's Northeastern Illinois University's El Centro campus, located in Avondale, the Avondale neighborhood. Uh, NEIU built it to better serve Latinx communities in the area, although all students are welcome to take classes. Uh, the building was designed by Chicago architect Juan Gabriel Moreno and opened in two th uh, 2014. Uh, and notice how instead of avoiding the highway, Moreno r really embraces it, you know, positioning the building so it sort of follows the curve in the highway. And those blue and yellow fins, no, not Ikea. Um, they're actually the school's colors, Northeastern Illinois University. And um, they're not just ornamental. They actually help cancel out noise from the highway. Um, they're also angled to provide shade from the setting sun in the evenings. And uh, inside, you'll find classrooms, laboratories, and meeting spaces, which are all connected by sleek hallways that wrap around the entire building. And how about Chicago schools? Are any of them going to be open this week? Chicago weekend? public schools, yeah. Well, they, they won't be open to students tomorrow, as we mm, know, right. sadly, from reporting you've done earlier on this program. Um, but Chicago does have many architecturally significant public schools. Um, and one notable example that hopefully will be open this weekend for Open House Chicago is Carl Schur's High School in the Irving Park neighborhood. Um, the building was designed uh, by Chicago architect Dwight Perkins in the Prairie School, uh, Prairie style of architecture, um, which was, of course, defined and made famous by Perkins' contemporary Frank Lloyd Wright. 
Uh, Perkins was hired as the chief architect of the uh, Chicago Board of Education in, in 1905. He designed actually more than 40 schools, mm. in, including Schur's, which opened in 1910. Um, this massive building includes all sorts of prairie style features. Notice the uh, emphasis on uh, the horizontal over the vertical and the long slender bricks um, and the earth tones which glorify nature and you know to my eye I also see a bit of art deco in the vertical massing and then the Asian influence on that roof line as well and on the inside do not miss the domed library I've been there it's breathtaking incredible isn't it um, it features murals painted by Perkins wife Lucy Fitch Perkins who was a prolific children's book writer and illustrator um, Schurz uh, actually has a twin, um, Bowen High School on uh, 89th Street near the Chicago Skyway, was uh, also designed by Perkins from identical plans um, and also in 1910. Are there any uh, final recommendations of what people might check out this weekend? Well, Phil, there is one that has kind of a personal association Let's for hear me. It. I couldn't let it go without that. How about this? Um, uh, this is the Columbia Yacht Club, which is um, anchored or moored uh, south of Navy Pier. I mean, it houses, it's housed in this massive former Nova Scotia railroad ferry called the Abiquit. For decades, the boat ferried passengers and train cars between Prince Edward Island and New Brunswick up in Canada and was reportedly one of the most powerful icebreakers in the world. Um, it was purchased by the Yacht Club and retrofitted uh, in the 1980s, and it hasn't left the dock since. Uh, and it, my personal connection is not that I'm some sort of yacht owner, which I I'm not. I thought you were the captain of the pinafore. No, not that. <laughs> uh, I actually had my wedding rehearsal dinner it's on all right. that vessel. Oh, well, and you've been afloat ever since. <laughs> I've been floating on, on <laughs> air ever since. <laughs> Not just the water. Jeffrey, thanks very much. Sure thing. And you can visit our website for more information on Open House Chicago. And while you are there, make sure to submit your question to Jeffrey Bear.